Welcome to this new tutorial about how to get books to your library, how to get content, how to get rich in information. So, as we already discussed or showed you, there is a lot of freely available uh, sources. We have the Cenoteca. We will continue working on that, available for uh, ETH students. We are working on that on architectural theory and history, a great selection. There is uh, this famous archive.org. A lot of books, millions of books uh, and, and videos and audios are available. For example, about um, all the facsimiles of facsimile Fiberti, for example. Go here and you see here, different categories. We can go for English texts or we can have for different authors. Now this is uh, Alberti. If you want to go for German, it's on two. If you have English, have four books available. So this is a facsimile and uh, you can uh, read it. Very interesting and of great value. Uh, these are the formats you're able to download. PDF, single page, JPEG. This is, uh, this is Abyss uh, file. We will work on that. So, and this is of great value and you should uh, learn how to access it and make use of it. It's done for this. Okay, now we want to, yeah, there's French Gallica, great, but French. There are these, there's this Swiss Bib, or is Gutenberg, we already uh, discussed that. So now we want to see if you have your own book, how to get that digitized and uh, to your library. In principle, it's very simple. This, for example, is a book I bought. It's uh, in iBooks, EPUB, I don't know. The easiest way to do is make a screenshot. So uh, make a selected portion, take it, and you simply need pictures of it. So if you want to work with it, that's the picture and then we can continue working. So the book is simply a sequence of uh, pictures of the pages. So whatever is on screen, you can take it like this. Okay, now you also can do simply photos. So uh, this is my book, Eric Vögelin. This is my iPhone and now I am taking taking a photo try to make it clear and clean now I send it and here it is this is my scanned page and it's a page as well. So therefore we uh, simply uh, save that uh, on, no it's on download, so we put it on on desktop. Here we are. We don't want this. So there's a lot of, it's called to, to process these images and get the readable letters and pure text, this is called um, OCR. Uh, it's a kind of pattern recognition of character recognition. There's a lot of uh, free tools available around. Uh, Adobe Acrobat is able to do that and so on. It's all, it's in most cases a little uh, frustrating. So because they, they only have, uh, if they have 90% correct or 95% correct, then one out of uh, 20 characters is misread. So, and uh, the one software, and this is very frustrating, so you get bad results. The one software is doing very good character recognition is uh, the fine reader, I'm using that. Unfortunately, 
this is uh, about $200. Uh, but there's a trial version and you can uh, check it. Otherwise, if you don't want to spend this money, uh, share it, I don't know. But uh, <coughs> uh, use other software in the same way. Now this is uh, just to get an idea of how this works. So let's uh, go for <coughs> uh, for our uh, uh, image here, or of, of the screenshot. Now the software is now we have to we have to put it upright, which means uh, rotate right. So we also can uh, go for uh, image editing, and for example, we can deskew it. Just the selected page. So to get the perspective done. So then it's getting uh, more straight. Or you can have have. You can split, and you can do these kind of things. Rotate, perspective correction if you want to be uh, precise and so on. Especially if you take pictures, you want to have them uh, not distorted. With text is not this uh, important. So if you have that, so let's um, prepare a, a folder called test. Um, <clears throat> if you have that, then you can say export uh, no, we can. We first have to read this, and this is the pattern recognition part. This takes some time. You can change. You can uh, choose with a huge amount of different languages. Uh, what we now, uh, what we see now is. He identifies certain blocks of text. He identifies as a finger and doesn't take it. So all this is uh, very uh, comfortable. So if we had read that, we can uh, export it as pure text, as RTF formatted text at HTML. This is what we are interested in, plain text. Say next. So we go for our text. Test, test. So then this machine creates a directory test and an HTML file, and this is a text of our uh, scanned or photographed uh, page. And it's doing it for every page uh, like this. We can look the code for it, and we see that it's very clear organized uh, code. We see there's a chapter, there's another chapter, hierarchy 1, h1, there we have a paragraph, we have another paragraph. So easy to parse as we did and we will show how to do that. That's the most explicit and most carefully organized way how to access uh, the data. So you can export to PDF as well. So then you have this text we had seen uh, in HTML underlying the photo, so you can copy and paste the text. Uh, and or you can have a Word document and so on. Uh, in this case, you can see these are the options with the text and the image. Go for next. And then we say create a single page for everything in PDF or get it into one um, PDF. So they say test. And now we have a test PDF and we can copy these things in a proper way.